Hey guys, welcome back to another review. This is going to be a follow-up of my last review where I was on a quest uh, to find the best competitive gaming audio. Um, I did stick with the HD 560S out of the headsets that I reviewed uh, previously in the first video, and I did go ahead and pick up a pair of the Bear Dynamics DT1990 Pros, cut into the sound quality for competitive gaming purposes, right? We're not talking about audiophile purposes, we're not talking about music listening, we're not talking about uh, video watching, we're talking about specifically high tier competitive gaming directional audio goodness. Both of these headsets definitely provide in the directional audio category, um, but I do have to say that the clear winner out of the bunch for me and the still reigning champion out of the headsets that I have reviewed and tried uh, for competitive audio purposes is the HD 560S. This headset is $200. Um, I uh, did pick it up at Best Buy, uh, so Best Buy is a vendor for the 560S. Um, the DT1990 Pro, I think, is uh, $595 on Amazon. Um, so, you know, the clear price gap for the difference in audio, I, I feel like does not justify um, utilizing or even recommending the DT1990 Pro when the 560S is as good as it is. Now, <clears throat> to kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea as to how good the directional audio is on the DT1990 Pro for Warzone, Apex, and Valorant are the three games I tested this in over the span of a few days. Um, in Warzone, <clears throat> because the game is so bassy and this has a V-shaped audio signature, meaning the bass and treble are a little more extended and out there compared to the mid-range, um, Call of Duty's audio is so bassy that the bass in the game actually just drowned everything out. Um, now, I was still able to pick up on uh, directional audio cues, um, but the 560S, while it packs good bass, a good amount of bass, it's very neutral. So even though those grenades are going off, I'm still able to pick up um, the footsteps and the significant audio cues even from a distance as far as somebody sliding or the footsteps and people running around me. So for me, I've never really had a good audio experience in Call of Duty Black Ops, but with the HD 560S, I've actually really picked up a good directional um, cue from my left, my right, from below me, um, even with other sounds going off, and I think that that kind of blew my mind um, going to Call of Duty Black Ops. It's definitely a huge difference compared to the DT 1990 Bros. Um, they're just a little too bassy, and things like directional audio and, and uh, people um, coming at you through walls, I mean, the level of anticipation was just a lot higher on the HD 560S. Um, I was able to pick up everything, which for me is absolutely phenomenal because I feel like Warzone has by far hands down the worst sound uh, in any video game I've ever played, um, comparable uh, second to none, uh, maybe Fortnite um, has uh, quite some poor audio as well as far as uh, I'm just having known issues with with um, you know complaints from pros and, and high tier players as far as uh, audio issues and of course Apex is, is one of them as well. Um, but <clears throat> the DT1990 Pro kind of gets drowned out a little bit with uh, heavy bass. Um, the directional audio I would say is is good. I don't think it's fantastic in Warzone. Um, I was able to make out left right. Um, and uh, differences in height levels. So if somebody's on the second floor or below me, um, I was able to make that out fairly well. I, I felt like it lacked in distance for directional audio in uh, Call of Duty Black Ops and Warzone, um, meaning I just wasn't able to pick up footsteps and audio cues from nearly as far as I was with the 560S. Now in Apex, I felt the DT1990 uh, DT Pro was uh, actually phenomenal. Um, I did not get anywhere near the distance in directional cues, again, that I got with the 560S, um, but the sound was just beautiful. Everything wasn't, nothing was overpowered between the grenades and, and everything else, and everything just had a level of clarity that I kind of enjoyed listening to a little bit more and by a little bit, I mean a little bit. 
um, because the 560S is very clear and the audio is beautiful. Um, so I give the sound, um, as far as enjoyment, the edge to the DT1990 uh, DT Pro, um, but I'm using the headset for competitive high tier level gameplay, right? So the 560S, um, as you guys know from my last video, with 10 different audio cues going on at the same time, I'm still able to make out footsteps, okay? So if I have a party fighting a party in front of me and a party fighting two parties behind me, and I have a team above me and below me, I am still able to make out all those sound signatures, all those sound signatures simultaneously. Nothing got drowned out. I'm still able to pay attention to the footstep or the players that I want to pay attention to while I am engaged in that individual team while paying attention to making sure I have my bases covered around me uh, from the other parties that are close to me and, and about to third party me. So I think you guys know already that uh, I was a former Apex Predator and I'm currently ranked uh, Masters. I kind of stopped with the Predator grind. But one of the things I look for in audio in Apex is just really, really good distance and directional audio um, and good separation. So like when a lot of people are shooting at the same time, I like to be able to hear when a third party comes in, like in this situation when I just finished that team um, and another team quickly came in. I like to be able to hear separation of sounds both from above and below, um, not just from left and right. And just having that extra ability to hear directional audio at a distance um, really, really provides a competitive edge. So the clear edge and uh, winner is the 560S for Apex. Now for Valorant, uh, the 1990 Pro again sounded absolutely phenomenal and you know of course Valorant has a good sound signature as far as directional audio goes and um, really really good directional audio cues for even some of the worst of headsets out there. Um, but the DT1990 Pro had very very good uh, directional audio, had good directional audio at a distance. Um, the only thing that I can say uh, compared to the 560S, um, again, it's not as strong of a directional audio different uh, uh, cue. So if I have somebody from my left in the 560S shooting at a distance, um, it's just a stronger audio feeling in your left side of your ear, uh, in your left ear. Um, it, it's just a stronger feeling and a stronger sense that you get of that directional audio cue, whereas this is more uh, blended and more faint, right? Um, so that audio really pops in the 560S in the left ear when you have that individual shooting off to your left. Four. Um, I can say that the DT1990 Pro got a little muddled um, in comparison to somebody being in front of me and someone being behind me, or if somebody was like directly in front of me and off a little to the left or a little bit to the right, um, it kind of blended and meshed together a little bit, a little bit um, would be my only complaint. So really good directional audio, beautiful audio with the DT1990 Pro, um, but definitely going to put that to the side. Um, for competitive level gameplay. One of the things that's hardest in uh, all of the games that we've been talking about is when there are several things going on at once, right? So when you have grenades going off and the sound of footsteps kind of gets drowned out. Um, that happens on almost every gaming headset. Um, of course, these are audiophile headsets that we're talking about. Um, but they have been used by uh, several pros and uh, several players. Of course, sound hazards have been used for years and years and years in competitive play. Um, but with the 560S, all of those audio cues can still be picked up by you. Okay, So if you're paying attention to something and eight things are going off, um, I feel like there's just no loss in detail to what you are focused on. Um, I didn't get that with the PC38X, I do get that with the 560S. So guys, I know what headset I'm going to be sticking with for now for competitive play. It's definitely going to be the Sennheiser 560S. 
I think the Bear Dynamic DT 1990 Pro was absolutely beautiful as far as build quality and sound and, and just overall performance. Uh, but the directional audio edge I definitely obtained from the 560S. If this video helped you and you guys were on the fence between uh, a audiophile headset for uh, competitive gaming in this price range bracket, uh, please subscribe to the channel, help us out, and uh, like the video if it helped you. And let me know in the comments if you guys have a um, headset that you think performs better or could potentially perform better than the HD 560S. If enough of you want me to try that particular headset, I'll order it and uh, get it and compare it to the HD 560S. Thanks guys for stopping by. Peace, I'll catch you in the next video.